Algebra 1 semester review problems 21 and 22. 21. Table shows the relationship between x the time in years and y the thickness in meters of a glacier. Based on the table, how long will it take for the glacier to reach a thickness of zero or melt away if conditions remain the same? Here's the table of data. This is a really fun problem showing where a little knowledge of algebra will save a lot of time. We could put all this into the calculator and spend all that time, but why? What do we know? We know y equals mx plus b, where m is the slope and b is the y-intercept. Well, let's see. We know that slope is change in y over change in x. We see that we are looking at 10-year intervals. Every 10 years, the glacier melts half a meter. 12 minus 11, 5, it's going down by 0 0.5 meters per 10 years. That is exactly the same as 0 0.05 meters per year. And our y-intercept is the value of y when x is 0. Our equation, then, is y equals 0 0.5, whoa, 0 0.05x plus 12. We put that into the calculator. Y equals 0 0.05 times X plus 12. Now when we look at the table of data, uh-oh, SpaghettiOs, my glacier is getting thinner. That's because my slope is not positive, my slope is negative. Let's try this again. y is equal to negative 0 0.05 times x plus 12. Now when we look at the table of data, And we scroll down for a very long way because, mercifully, we hope that this difficulty with the climate change will be fixed before everything continues. Well, it's bigger than 140 years. Is it bigger than 240 years? I'm still scrolling down, I'm still scrolling down. What I could have done, I suppose, is change the settings on my table, but I didn't want to take time to think about that. At 240 years, our glacier will have melted. That's how to do it with the table, but if we have the equation, all we have to do actually is set this equal to zero. So another way to do this would be y equals negative 0.05x plus 12. If y is zero, 
what happens when does it melt negative 0 0.05 X plus 12 we subtract 12 from each side that gives us negative 12 equals negative 0 0.05 X now we divide both sides by 5 one hundredths negative 12 over negative 0 0.05 equals X and the simple calculation negative divided by a negative is a positive so 12 divided by 0 0.05 also gives us 240 years. The algebra is the fastest way to do this problem. Let's look at 22 quickly. 22, 22. The students did jumping jacks. The data they collected is displayed here. We could use our graphing calculator to create a scatter plot, but why? Which best describes the correlation of this data? We can just graph this by hand. This is not such a big deal. If we're going to graph this by hand, zero seventy four that's a resting heart rate ten twenty thirty forty fifty sixty seventy eighty ninety a hundred let's do twenty forty sixty eighty a hundred, hundred twenty, hundred forty, hundred sixty, number of jumping jacks, five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty five, thirty, zero seventy four, five eighty eight. 10, 112, 25, 139, and 30, 151. Is there correlation? Well, what does correlation mean? This is also a vocabulary problem. What is correlation? Correlation means there is a relationship of data. Positive correlation as x increases, f of x increases. As x goes up, as your input goes up, your output goes up. Negative correlation says as your independent variable decreases, your dependent variable increases. An example of negative correlation would be something like The more time I play video games, the lower my grades get. And this is a mistake. Negative correlation as x increases, f of x decreases. Let me correct myself. Negative correlation as x increases, f of x decreases. 
There could be something called random correlation, but I never heard of it. They don't call it random correlation. They would call it no correlation. So from our scatter plot, what do we see? As x increases, y increases, this would be positive correlation.